Hello and welcome to this short video where we will preview Louisville Metro Government's new business portal going live on June 19th. My name is China Hepburn with the Louisville Metro Division of Construction Review and over the course of this video I will be showing you several things including how to create and log in to your new account, how to enter your professional license information, and how to apply for a permit. To begin, I'm going to go to our new website. Once you reach this page, once you have an account, you will be able to log in with your username or email and password. If you are a new user, then we will go to the New Users button and register for an account. Under route Account Registration, you will give a, be provided with a list of things that you will have to provide, as well as a general disclaimer that you will have to accept in order to continue with your application on our website. Uh, accept the terms and conditions and click Continue Registration. Here's where you will provide a username, password, email address, and a security question as well as your contact information. I've go at, gone ahead and set up a account that I will go ahead and use to create a brand new account for myself. Whenever you're providing our pass a password and security question, make sure that it's something secure that only you would know the answer to. In your next section, you will add contact information. Here's where you will provide whether you are registering as an individual or an organization, also known as a business. I'm going to click Add New and select the type of contact that I want to provide. I'm going to set up an account as an individual and then click Continue, where I'll be asked for my personal information, phone numbers, and additional contact addresses. Here you can choose to add the one or you can save and add another. I'm just going to include this address so I will save and close to add it. After you do so, it will add it to this little list which is a table. Click continue. Confirm that you want to create that new account. Scroll down check and make sure that all of the information you have provided on your application is correct 
and then click continue registration. So you see now that our account has been created successfully. Now we can log in. It will give you a username, email, password, and your security question. So I am going to go to login to begin. And here I can enter any, I can either enter the username that I created or I can use the email address that I used to set up the account. Here is where you will arrive at your dashboard and it will welcome you based on the name that you registered under. Currently, because this is a new account, I do not have any items in my shopping cart, in my collections, any records in progress, or any records that I have ap applied for in the past. If you're wanting to look for applications that you have applied for in the past, they would be under My Records tab, and this would include anything that you have applied for on our new business portal. Because this is a new account, there are no records currently found. Whenever you're interested in applying for a new business permit, there are two options for how to access those applications, either under Add New Permit Application, or you can go to this tab that lists various Louisville Metro government agencies and choose which one is relevant to the work that you're wanting to do. All of construction reviews permits will be located under building and all of our contractor licenses as well as our construction business licenses are located under the license tab. I'm going to begin by creating a new building permit. So I will click on the building tab and here I can either search for a record by a number that I have have previously or I can begin a permit. So to begin I will click on apply for a permit. Similar to your registration process there is a general disclaimer that you will have to read through in order to agree to our terms and policies in applying for a permit. So accept those terms and click continue application. The new business portal breaks down all of our building permits into three categories now, commercial, residential, and miscellaneous. Commercial building projects will include the following. They apply to building, cell towers, electrical and HVAC, various mechanical permits, pools, and parking lots. Residential will contain all of your residential building permits, pool permits, HVAC and electrical, and miscellaneous permits kind of fall outside those two categories. For to the purpose of today's demo, I'm going to be showing you all how to apply for a residential new building permit. So I will click on that item on my list and make sure that the little blue bubble is filled in. Once again, click Continue Application. You will start adding your data for the location of the project, the address, and then our GIS system will access that address, look it up online, and provide you with a parcel number as well as the owner, which will be auto-filled in. You don't need the complete street address in order to search. If you do know the whole address, you can go ahead and type that in. I'm going to demonstrate the address, 444 South 5th Street, which is also our office location, the Metro Development Center. Then click Search, and that is where they will pull all of our GIS data from. Now we have our parcel number as well as the owner. This is a public property. Sometimes it would be a private individual. 
depending on the nature of your project. So I'll select continue application once again. And this is where I'm going to add an applicant. I can add a con new contact or I can select from my account. Because I'm applying for this permit as an individual, I'm going to select that from an, my account. The individual associated contact would be myself. You can also select to put this permit in the name of the associated owner. So I'll click continue. Here you would also have the option of adding additional addresses if the applicant is different from your contact information or different from the owner of the property. So I'm going to select my home address, click continue, go through here and make sure that all of the information I have provided at registration is, my, is correct and if my, anything needs to be updated or changed I would be able to do so here. So once I verified all of my data I'm going to click continue. Additionally, you can add a licensed professional. This is where you would have the opportunity to look up your contractor license number. So I'm going to select look up and here is where I look up a license that I have taken out in my name prior. Here is where you would search for it. So I'm going to search by license number for a record that I have prior previously completed. So I will just type that in for my general contractor's license. Click look up. I select the license that I want to add, click continue, and then click continue application. Step two is permit detail where you will, where you will name your application and provide a detailed description. I've just provided a little bit of information that will aid the plan reviewer in reviewing your permit application upon submittal. So I'll go ahead and click continue application again. And here's where I have the option to enter dimensional data about my project including the structure and the site it is being built upon. You do not have to provide this application data at the initial application submittal. None of these are starred with a red star. If it has that indicator next to it, that means it's a required field. So I might know what the square footage of this house is, but I might not know the estimated cost yet. I know it's going to be two stories. I've seen the plans. That it's 35 feet high, has four bedrooms, three and a half baths. There's one dwelling unit and I already know the setbacks on the lot. So do so however much information you are able to provide at this time, entered here, and then you're going to click continue application once more, where you are going to review everything you have entered in this application. 
If you see an error and need to edit something, you click on the blue edit button here and that will take you into a screen where you can change that and save that information. I'm going to go through and make sure I've entered the correct business license, the detail information, and then I'm going to click continue application once more. This green checkbox indicates that your application has successfully been submitted to our office and our work are ready to be reviewed, accepted, and routed for plan review. To view the summary, I'm going to go to Print View Summary down here and click on it, which will open a new window where you can view the information you have submitted to Construction Review. This will be an overview of the project, including an expiration date, the record name, any associated records, the address, owner information, professional information, contacts, different data specific to the application, including your setbacks and square footage, height and feet, etc., as well as our GIS information that will give you a little bit further detail of where it's located and different requirements for this project. <laughs>